sorry, but what they're doing in South Korea is insane and you have no idea what's going on. I don't know if it's too insane, they better hold up because you know the North don't play. So yeah, if you don't know anything about this and you don't know what's about to happen, you are going to want to watch this video, trust me. So when you look at this, you probably think, oh, it's the back rooms or, I don't know, inside of a theme park ride or something like that. But actually, no, because this is an artificial sun that South Korea are making. Now, there's lots of countries around the world now that are actually starting to make artificial suns. Why? I don't know. But this one, some pretty scary stuff has gone on in here. And just you wait. Basically, what they're trying to do in here is nuclear fusion. It reached a new record of holding it at 180 million degrees for 48 seconds probably wondering what nuclear fusion is why do they want to do it and i mean well that's it just read but the benefits of it this is basically the list of why people want to achieve nuclear fusion which i mean kind of goes hand in hand with old 2030 project doesn't it if you know what i mean now i'm saying by 2025 they want to be able to hold it at 300 million degrees for over a minute i mean soon who knows what will be possible but please this is in south korea do not let this guy get his hands on it or we'll probably be putting people inside the damn thing Hey, I don't even think we need to put people inside of it because they ain't careful enough. We all might get sucked up inside of it. Enough all about it. I'll keep you updated. So that's what we're doing now, just just chilling like a person. I know he cold. What concerns do you have about Vice President Harris's ability to beat Donald Trump if she were at the top of the ticket? Look, I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President. Wow. President. So I think she's not qualified to be president. So let's start there. Now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. Man, what Nikki say? She must got condos in her head, living rent free or something like that. I don't know. Something of the sort. But something need to be happening. Something need to be done with this guy because he obviously don't know what's going on. President Putin. You can beat President Putin. President Zelensky. I'm so focused on beating Putin, we gotta worry about it. Anyway, Mr. President. I'm better. You are a hell of a lot better. <laughs> Okay, so I was just reading up on this psychological phenomenon called false polarization. In this day and age, I feel like this needs to be a term that everyone is familiar with. False polarization refers to this tendency that we have as human beings of viewing people who have opposing views as being way more extreme than they actually are. The National Library of Medicine says this, like this is literally science. The thing is, is social media is one big echo chamber. Not only that, but we're also constantly being hammered with sensationalized news and content every day. And then of course the on the cake is that we have limited interactions with people in the real world so we don't really interact with people who have these opposing views now we can definitely have opposing views and even disagreements but false polarization is the idea that the space between us is actually way less extreme than we believe it to be for example here's an interesting stat one study found that at least 70 percent of both democrats and republicans overestimates how much the other side dislikes and dehumanizes them the translation we all think that we we hate each other but we really don't and the problem with this is if we perceive people who have opposing views than us as being way more extreme than they actually are it makes us that much more unlikely to actually talk about the things that we're disagreeing on and try to find a common ground instead we just write them off and just label them as crazy people false polarization helps us understand why we feel more divided than we probably actually are and lets us know that it's okay to engage in conversations with people who have opposing views than us because I don't know a lot of people have opposing views, especially when it comes to politics. I don't even like to talk about it because people get in their feelings like they related to these politicians. 
these people are probably not as extreme as we think that they are. And maybe if we actually start talking to each other, we can learn the full picture of what's actually going on. Do you believe in government conspiracies? Oh, absolutely. No, I'm serious. I no, no, definitely. Did. No, oh my God. I know I heard you did. Are you serious now? Oh, yeah, no, I'm very serious. You can't no, tell, you can can't you? tell, you no. Can't tell. <laughs> you know what I'm getting at. Mm -hmm. I read that mm -hmm. you felt that the government was deliberately spraying cold germs in subways, was mm -hmm. deliberately trying to make people ill with the AIDS virus. This is pretty serious stuff. Do you really feel that? Well, she acting like she ain't never heard of that before. That's a good question. Well, I'm with Barbara Walters now. Oh, that's a serious one. Okay, so I got it now. Because people are going to chase me after this. People are going to chase me. Um, I believe that it is quite highly possible that that the the AIDS virus is a result of genetic warfare testing by American agents? Absolutely. Will... Why Am I a conspiracy theorist? I'm a conspiracy theorist, uh, all right. Uh, Gosh darn. I didn't want to be you, a conspiracy theorist. You, I wanted to be regular. Well, the whole time we thinking it was the U.S. doing it, but it was other countries pitting these viruses out on us. <laughs> You're a little irregular. <laughs> Serious stuff. Mm -hmm. So AI was asked to show what the real earth looked like and this exactly what it showed y'all. Y'all see that? You guys see how we're literally inside of the middle and then outside, you know, this would be the ice wall. It's like blocked off. And then outside of here, you have huge skyscraper buildings. That's, that's probably even taller than the ice wall. And it looks like the structures that are built out here, they're like extremely modern. It's like new, like technology that we probably ever even seen of. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, that's crazy how, you know, AI is showing us like this. Just so you know, AI can see further than we can see. You know, it sees a lot more than we do because we're only subjugated to uh, a certain amount of information, especially, you know, within the confines of this ice wall. But I just wanted y'all to see this. This is very interesting, y'all. I mean, what do you guys think of this? And by the way, this is my new account. Please give me a... First of all, that's not an ice wall. Look like dirt to me. And the way AI set up, you never know. Follow on this one over here. You already know what we say, man. Let's get this. Let me show y'all what's inside of these hot dogs. Yep, this is what a hot dog looks like under the microscope. As y'all can see, my boy's cutting the hot dog in half. And now it's finna inspect it mm. under a microscope. Is that something that I see moving? Hmm. Interesting. Who else getting hungry right now? And now, now, now he's putting it under the microscope, and once again, is that something that I see moving? Yeah. And I don't want to hear, that's why you kick it. How many of these have you eaten raw? I mean, but we got bugs and stuff on everyday products like vegetables, fruit. Like, how do you think? Where do you think they be like outside of nature? So it's only natural to have some kind of organisms on them. But all them parasites and stuff, I don't know about that. Them little squiggly worms and all that. You can keep that. Yeah, straight out the pack. I've even seen some people say, mmm, delicious, extra protein. No, I can't. I'm not doing it. Eating raw hot dogs can lead to a block party with parasites inside of your stomach. By now, I'm sure you've all probably heard about Dior out here lying, scheming, willing, and dealing. You know, we have to discuss the Italian government putting Dior's business in the street, honey, about them selling these $57 bags for $2,800 and running a sweatshop. Allegedly. My first thought echoes a sentiment that I've shared prior, but these companies are getting over. I spoke I see nothing that they're doing that no other company is not doing. Like, you remember when Jordan first came out and said how cheaply made his was and how he was jacking the price up? I'm pretty sure all companies do this. The real thing I want to know is why is they targeting Dior now and not all these other companies?
about the decline in the quality of fast fashion, but I've also spoken about the quality decline in designer goods. You have people that gravitate towards designer goods for many different reasons, but one of the reasons that people used to gravitate towards certain designer brands is because there was an element and an association of quality. A big part of why consumers are willing to shell out the prices for these designer goods is trust and belief in that brand's values. I pay you X amount of dollars, and with that, I get a quality item that is supposed to be associated and backed by the value that is in your company's name. The consumers of these goods are expecting a higher level of craftsmanship and they expect that based off of the association with that name. That relationship and that association is built off of consumer trust and let me say this situation for me with Dior, all of that trust would be out the window. For me personally, when I shell out $2,800 for a purse, I'm going to expect you to not be engaging in the same business practices as a fast fashion giant, okay? I haven't heard the same complaints about Dior as I do about Chanel and some Louis Vuitton products, but if they are producing goods in an unethical manner and one would say a sweatshop is definitely unethical, then just like a Shein, they need to be held accountable. Am I surprised? Absolutely not because I said a while ago that these brands are getting over. They're taking advantage of consumers and this unfortunately is just another example but you guys let me know your thoughts. Have you heard about the Dior scandal? And are you? We are living in the time of Noah's Ark. There's going to be a big reset on planet Earth, and it's not exactly what you think it is. This is from CERN's official website. If you're not sure what CERN is, please research it. But it's a huge Hadron Collider. And their official website is literally saying, recreating Big Bang matter on Earth. Do you know, like, do they think we're stupid or something? Because if you recreate that, you can literally create another Big Bang. You can literally make the existence that we're living in right now collapse and restart again. I mean, just look at this. This is the mechanism within the huge tubes of CERN. Like, the, these are the particles that are colliding. If that doesn't look like the start of a universe or a Big Bang, I don't know what does. In case you're new to my videos, I'm a psychic medium. I have what you call closed eye visions. So when I close my eyes, I see very vivid visions. And just a couple of months ago, I saw the vision of the CERN Hadron Collider. And there was a huge blast and like everything blew apart. And then I saw the universe as an infinity symbol and it collapsed back into the pinpoint of the center of the infinity symbol and it expanded again. And do you know what's the most interesting part? Outside of the CERN building, there is Lord Shiva. A huge, big old statue of Lord Shiva. Do you know what Shiva is responsible for? It is the god of creation and destruction. Read that again. Say that again. Creation and destruction. Not to mention, CERN's logo is literally just three sixes overlapping each other at a different angle. I have a video on my page of what 666 actually means, and it ties into this video 100%. I truly believe we are living in the time of Noah's Ark. The Bible was just an analogy or a metaphor for the creation of the universe. And you know what created this matrix, this specific universe? ETs. We are living in an artificial and constructed existence. There is something very synthetic about this existence. And what the elite and the people in charge are trying to do right now is to recreate the Big Bang, to turn back time, to restart time, to clean the slate. Because they want to recreate their kingdom, their Garden of Eden again. You know why I think they're doing that? Because we're starting to awaken. We're starting to realize that there's something very wrong about this world. There are too many of us to control and the elite don't like that we're waking up. So what do they do? They recreate the Big Bang to clean the slate. There are places on this planet that are conserving seeds and, you know, just wildlife and earthly things just in case the world ends so they can replant them. If that doesn't sound like Noah's... I like how she's just so confident on why and what's the reason why they're doing things. Like they told her personally. It's not like she's just making things up. Talk to you, I don't know what does. But this is not to scare you. This is just letting you know exactly what's going on right now. I really don't think we have much power over this. I know they're gonna be shitty. That's why they tell you to stay away from the fire hydrants. That's why those lines right there so you can't park next to them. Command to back, sky 145 seconds. 
What would y'all do if y'all came outside and the fire trucks had a hose going through your window? Deja de brillar. Cuando está brillando tanto, ahí va. Vamos a ver. Ah, bien, ahí está arriba de nosotros. Pues sí, y sí, pero, pero eso. Y yo puedo ver. Está viendo. like they want to be seen oh no that was a little different right there yeah but this is a baga does he have a lot of sense in your canyon no did the ball get smaller because of him zooming in and out or did it just get smaller like that I don't know. Y luego sol. Y se ve como como una bola. Qué bueno que no está temblando el pulso. Ahí sí sonó como dron. Se ve como What is real and what is fake? What is reality and what is fabrication? As I said yesterday, we have crossed a line of demarcation, a line that we can no longer hop back and forth and pretend it doesn't exist. What I'm talking about, of course, is AI, artificial intelligence. We now, the man on the street, can no longer ascertain or discern what is real and what is fabricated. It is absolutely unbelievable. There is a biblical text, and I just want to give it to you real quick. It says this, justice is pushed back. Righteousness stands far off. Truth is thrown to the street and honesty cannot come in. Isaiah 59 verse 14. The bottom line is, in my opinion, folks, we are here. We are there in that scripture. We are living it. It can only mean one thing to me. Hey, since I've been born, they've been saying we've been living in the scripture. That's what the scripture is. I think we living in it, ain't it? But to be honest, it's a lot of stuff that's coming to light that make me not too optimistic about the future. The king has to come back because reality is thrown to the street. Truth is thrown to the street. I am L.A. Marzulli. Major warning for iPhone users. So if you have an iPhone, you are going to want to watch this video. Trust me. So I'm sure you all know Apple. You're probably holding one of their phones right now. And over the last few months, there's been new things coming out. They've got their new iOS. There's new phones being released, but also some bad things. With warnings coming to us about several different features, which is great considering everyone has an iPhone. But I'll touch on some of the major ones. Now, please make sure you share this video with a friend to make sure they're updated on this. So first of all, security. They have had a lot of security breaches in the last 
last month or two. Now only four weeks ago, it was released on what was the most popular passwords of 2023, and it is genuinely shocking. The fact that people are still using 123 and password 123. Oh. And people use a birthday. People use some ridiculous passwords. I don't even believe in what some people tell me what they use as passwords. Like, come on, man absolutely blows my mind as well as the password 696969 now in the recent days though there has been one of the largest cyber attacks ever to apple devices probably by using these flipping passwords so if you have one of those change it now over 1.4 billion apple devices have been affected by this new cyber breach how is there 1.4 billion devices that's my question and they're now saying you should switch off your phone once a week and turn it back on i don't know why change all of your passwords regularly and just keep an eye if anything weird comes on on your phone now this leads me to the second point you may have seen this little dot in the top of your screen so sometimes it'll be green sometimes it'll be orange if this dot appears and it's orange that means your audio is being used if it's green it means your camera's being used now of course if you're on something like snapchat or you're recording a tiktok video it's going to be on because you're filming or you're speaking or you're on the phone it's going to be orange but it should go away pretty quickly after you hang up the phone or stop recording so if you see this orange dot in the corner of your screen when you're not recording you're just sat on your phone doing anything then just be aware because someone could be in your phone watching you but no they're probably not it's probably just taken a while to go away but still keep an eye on it and anything else weird that happens on your foot this is the most horrific case i'll ever post about junko furuto was a 17 year old japanese high school student who was kidnapped by four teenage boys in 1989 she was tied up in the basement of the group's leader a 17 year old yakuza member whose own parents were terrified of him for the next 42 days, Junko would be subject to some of the most unspeakable torture that's ever taken place on this earth. The boys took turns assaulting her, urinating on her, and inserting foreign objects inside of her, ranging from firecrackers to broken beer bottles to scorching hot iron rods. Firecrackers, beer bottles, and hot rods? Like, I hope they got the death penalty, or I hope they put them under the jail. They smashed her bones with dumbbells, hung her up and used her as a punching bag, forced her to eat cockroaches, and set her on fire multiple times. To make matters worse, more than a hundred people knew about Junko's captivity, but either did nothing about it or even took part in the torture themselves. She eventually died from shock and was placed in an oil drum that was filled with concrete. All of the boys involved received rather light sentences and are all free today. What? light senses and are free after doing something like that it don't even matter if you was 12. doing something like that shows that you got a mental disorder and something need to be done and it's not letting them free i can tell you that however china apparently is not satisfied with the amount of energy it gets from the sun so it is creating one in its own backyard and it's more than five times hotter than the actual sun However, all this sun replication comes with a huge bill, one trillion dollars. Before we go into how China's artificial sun works, why is the country building one? The aim is to deliver near limitless clean energy by mimicking the natural reactions of current. Now that's cap right there. But first of all, I don't think the sun went in the sky. I think it was kind of like a nuclear reactor inside of a facility within stars. The artificial sun uses the same method as the original sun to produce energy, the holy grail of clean energy production. This is because the process requires no fossil fuels, leaves behind no hazardous waste materials. Unlike the nuclear fission process that powers commercial nuclear energy production, researchers also claim that there is far less risk of an environmental disaster. So how does China's artificial sun work? It works just like the sun. The solar energy reaching you on Earth is created by nuclear fusion taking place in the sun. Nuclear fusion occurs when protons of hydrogen atoms violently collide in the sun's core and fuse to create a helium atom. This process, known as PP or proton-proton chain reaction, emits stupendous energy. Deep within its core, the sun fuses about 620 million metric tons of hydrogen every second. The reaction is possible thanks to the extreme pressure and temperature within the core, estimated to be the equivalent of 250 billion atmospheres, or 25.33 trillion kilopascals and 15.7 million Kelvin, respectively. Mm. Somebody want some barbecue? The next result is the fusion of four protons or hydrogen nuclei into one alpha particle. Two protons and two neutrons bound together into a particle identical to a helium nucleus. Two positrons are released from this process as well as two neutrinos which changes two of the protons into neutrons and energy. 
China's sun was able to superheat a loop of plasma to five times hotter than the sun for more than 15 minutes. The reactor, known as EAST, or Experimental Advanced Superconducting at Tokamak, maintained a temperature of 158 million degrees Fahrenheit, or 70 million degrees Celsius, for 1,056 seconds. The scientific community lauded this achievement because it's a significant step closer to the creation of a source of near-unlimited clean energy. Adam and Eve is an encoded story. Adam is masculine, which is action. Eve is feminine, which is emotion. Sin is an old word for moon, which is emotion. The tree of knowledge of good and evil is the central nervous system. The serpent tempting Eve is the sexual emotion, because emotions are feminine. The forbidden fruit is the sexual fluids. When you release your sexual fluids, you degenerate your body, and the ancients believed this is when you started to die when you released. The serpent tempts you to release the forbidden fruit, which is your sexual fluids, because because the emotion is Eve and the action is Adam. Ancients believed you have immortal genes and you activate them by raising the sacred fluids to your brain. Once you eat the forbidden fruit and you leave the Garden of Eden, which is even between life and death, you are now mortal and you know the good and the evil and you will live and you will die. Sexual emotion is the most powerful emotion a human could possibly feel. Sin also means sign, which means time, which is emotions that exist in time. The only emotion Emotions that exist in time is sexual emotions and negative emotions. Y'all, something weird is going on. There are still over a million people right now in Texas without power. And a whole entire time leading up to the path of a hurricane, they were telling Texas not to worry. And then I came across this. I have received so many messages like this one from linemen that have traveled far, from Michigan, from Florida, Arkansas, Oklahoma, places from all over the United States to be down here to help with what happened with Hurricane Barrel. So when I tell y'all, the linemen are out here and they're waiting for orders, but Center Point is dropping the ball, hear it from them yourself. They are not letting the linemen restore power because they are working out their wages before. Of course, if you just come down here, Hopefully it wasn't unexpected, but if they knew they was coming down here, they should have had all that sorted out. But if they just topping up just to volunteer and trying to look for work or whatever, I can see why they're trying to sort out the wages. Man, they're more worried about how much they're going to get paid for restoring the electricity that they won't even let them restore electricity. Houston, I'm a lineman from LA and we are just sitting. Your power company wants to negotiate pay first. We can't move unless someone agrees on pay. Is that not insane to y'all? At the same exact time, we have this major heat dome over the ocean. So if this gives you any idea of what the future is going to be like for this hurricane season, and if you thought the path of barrel was very familiar, even the tornado warnings is very familiar to the eclipse. If y'all had not already noticed, the eclipse left as if some kind of anomaly or pressure system going through the United States that storms and earthquakes are following. And literally one week prior, I showed you guys a video of the Livingston Dam in Texas about to overflow. Y'all, there's a lot of stuff happening right now. Oh, and really quick, just for the ignorant to say, it's just electricity. We don't need that. You know there's a portion of the country that needs electricity to live? Ventilators, pulse socks, etc. Now you do. Doctors have been annoyed and pissed at insurance companies for years. Let me show you what they're doing to fight back using AI as well as how you can do it too. New York Times read a fascinating article today on the battles between insurance companies and doctors. And if you didn't know, insurance giants have been using AI for a while now specifically to deny claims. Well, doctors have found a way to get back at them. ChatGPT. What they're doing is pretty easy. They're going to ChatGPT, giving a little bit of patient information as well as the insurance requirements and asking ChatGPT to write a persuasive, jargon-filled, medical-backed letter. From there, they take that letter, tweak it a little bit, send it off, and most times it's being overturned. For example, one Hey, now that's pretty smart. Now, ChatGBT is remarkable. Who knows what it's going to be five years from now? Look where it just came in the past couple years. One doctor turned his approval rate from 10% all the way to 90%. Some doctors are even getting fancy and asking ChatGPT to write longer and longer letters stuffed with the latest medical research and finding and insurance companies are hating it. The cool thing is doctors can turn out 10 to 20 of these a week before AI, only about one or two. So next time you're in insurance hell, use a prompt like this in ChatGPT to create that letter that you can send off to insurance companies. And you can see it's very straightforward, very simple. Feel free to take a screenshot or save this video and use it, it works. What do you think, is this something you've gone through? I'd love to hear your thoughts, stories, leave them in the comments.